am backstage in Los Angeles. I'm joined by Michael Chiesa, who just submitted Carlos Condit. Is this the biggest win of your career? Bar none, hands down. This is the biggest win of my career. And, uh, you know, I was I was really going against myself this fight. I had to fight a lot of demons today mentally. This was, You know, I haven't gotten a win since April 2016. I was able to erase the past. I'm back in the win column. I'm in the right weight class. Sky's the limit. I just, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. You should, you should be at a loss for words. This is epic. The fact that this was such a crazy week, on top of debuting in a new weight class, do you feel like you can kind of conquer anything if you're able to make a positive out of this crazy situation? You know, the only positive I can make out of this is you can overcome anything mentally. You know what I mean? Like, I literally, like, my team knew I was kind of going through it backstage. And, uh, you know, if you, if you put your mind to it and focus on anything, you can achieve what you want. You just got to make the right decisions and put yourself in the best place to succeed. And that's what I did. I put myself in the right weight class. I cleaned the slate. I focused on competing, keeping a clear head, pushing the pace. And this is what you got. Yeah. Uh, and let's talk about that submission because that was that was pretty crazy, Mike. We know that you have incredible jujitsu, incredible grappling, but that was something that we don't see that often. Tell me about it. You know, I haven't been able to showcase. You know, I'm a grappler. Everybody knows it. It's no secret. Um, you know, and there's just I've been holding myself back with this weight cut. You know, fighting at 155 pounds, I'm really not able to showcase my skills. I fought a formidable welterweight who's a good sized guy. He's tough. He's strong. And uh, you know, I was just able to showcase my skills. Once I finally got my hands on him and got him locked, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna start doing the stuff I do in the gym. You know what I mean? I'm gonna start, I'm gonna open the tool bag and just start letting it fly. And I was able to do that and uh, man, what an experience. Yeah, what an experience is right. I know that you mentioned Neil Magny's name inside the octagon. When would you like to fight again though? You know, that's up to my team. You know, I'm gonna, I gotta let the body cool off, assess the damage. I put a lot of, a lot of work in this camp. You know, usually it's just like eight weeks. But this time, I knew I was going up a division. I literally did a 12-week strength program before the eight-week camp, you know what I mean? So it's time to decompress. I had three fights, this, three camps this year. So it's time to decompress, soak up this win. But I would love to fight Neil Magny. I'm just trying to climb the ranks. It's not like I see anything in him specifically, but I'm looking at the bottom of the ladder, and I'm trying to work my way to the top. So it's got to start at the bottom, and uh, Neil Magny's the guy. Excellent. Well, we look forward to seeing you back in that octagon. I hope you have an incredible New Year's Eve celebration. I feel like you're going to ring in the new year just fine. Absolutely. <laughs>